So, are you folks ready to get this fishing party started? Uh, maybe that's my catchphrase. We're gonna do a fishing party. Well, let's take a look, huh? Uh, it's capping over pretty good. Uh, we've got northwest winds, but it's blowing still. It's supposed to lay down in a couple of hours. So I beat it to the punch, I guess. Well, we pack what we usually do. Pack some jig heads, spare camera batteries. And here I've got about 10 King mackerel rigs. Got a spool of lighter line. Got some balloons, trolling plugs, soft plastics, bottom sweeper jigs, lia sheds, sunblock, first aid kit. Actually, we should put this away because it's not waterproof. I, I pierced the seal the other day, so good thing we looked in that together. Up here I got snagging rigs, some like bunker and stuff. All my setups. Oh, this is the new Berkeley X9 braided line. It's uh, some pretty good stuff from what I've heard from the serious wreck fishermen. Uh, they recommended I give that a try. All right, all conditions finally are allowing me to surf launch. I had to wait two hours, which is okay. Getting lazy. Oh, sloppy. Too bad. Unfortunately, I've got some not so great news about my day so far. I have not seen a sign of life, a good sign of life. We've not seen a Spanish mackerel on top. I've not seen a sign of a king mackerel. I've not seen a false albacore. It's looking really, really quiet across the board. So basically, I made the wrong decision where to put my kayak in for the day. I should have scouted a little more and looked a little more heavily for, for bait pods. Order 73. That's kind of the prime, uh, pretty prime, I think. Like I said, though, there is not much bait, so. Oh, the wind is like totally dropped out. I'm going to start with the red fit. I'm going to just start on the jig, I think. See what happens. I don't know. We're gonna find out though. Might be something good. Redfish probably. My first hit, maybe a bluefish? Is that big blue? Oh, well, that's not too bad. You should always be happy to see a good one of those, huh? I'm not too surprised by that. It's definitely a solid specimen. This so right here is a weak fish or a gray trout. And that's a pretty good sized one. About 22, 23 incher. Uh, used to get these guys up to 10, 12 pounds, but a 22 incher out of North Carolina ain't bad. And he had a one ounce uh, jig head, Keelan's, and a five and a half inch Elias shad in gray. That was a pretty good sized fish. I was expecting to bump into a redfish here, but I'll never turn my, you know, turn my nose at those guys either. So. Always nice to see. Should be some reds here though. Should be some keeper black sea bass too right about now too. Ooh, broke me off. What did it break? That's uh that's interesting. It was an interesting little break off, probably a cocktail bluefish. They, they're pretty good at doing those. Check it out, I got a dragonfly on the front camera there. How cool is that? Maybe he's gonna be a good omen. The ocean's waking up. Not seeing much bait out here, man. Just one, one bluefish, one weak fish. That's not a good sign. Not this time of year. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what the move is here. I really haven't chunked any baits yet, so I brought them because I knew I might need them today. Especially if I couldn't find any bait on the beach, which I haven't. I'm going to go back on the beach 
towards sunset and work it for a little while, but being it's midday right now and just being really quiet, combo wombo. Yeah, let's give this a shot. Just maybe catch a couple sheep's head. We're black drum, we're reds. I, you know, I don't know. It's a good hit. Don't know what that one is. It was a good hit though. Probably a drum, right? My guess. Took us a second here. Drum? Ah, oh, black drum. I'm gonna start finding a couple bigger ones of these guys. But this is still pretty uh, average black drum. Don't catch too many of these guys on the ocean. It's funny. I mean, here and there. Do you want to keep a couple of these? These guys are good. This size black drum. Well, if we get another one, I'll keep them. He's got a pretty cool eye color. All right. Uh, not too, not too surprised. It's not much of a jig bite. Not midday. And this is kind of the way to catch tons of fish this time of day. Just show up a bunch of crabs. And... This drum family really responds to chum. Like they like getting chummed in. They can, they'll react very well to chum. I think we missed another drum there. It's my guess. This one's not that big. I'm not too sure what he is. I feel like what I missed just now was bigger. A little cocktail bluefish. There's a lot of them, but here they are. And not even big ones either, like this. Feels like a 14 inch. All right, come on. Okay. Something different. More drum. What? Already? What? What? Well, I guess the rest of the, the I guess the rest of the coast gets to enjoy it. Might as well I should. Just call it my first totog. Um, kind of surprising seeing one so early. He must have come from offshore, inshore somewhere. Healthy male. That's uh, like a 20 incher. Oh, they're a goofy looking fish, huh? One of the very good eating fish. Toad? I don't feel like a toad. Interesting, man. Very interesting bite here. I'm starting to get to see more of the cold water species, huh? The water's not even that cold yet, though. That's what's interesting. I hate you. That's my last piece of crab, buddy. The water's not. There's no bait, though. That doesn't help. It's a 13 and a half, 14er. 13 is my minimum size. You don't catch too many big uh, black sea bass around here. But, um,. Oh, just a quadruple check. Yeah, it's, it's like 14. Oh, it's interesting, I guess. It sucks when running out of bait. Black sea bass, another really good eating fish. Joins the party, huh? Little ocean grocery shot. It's strange though, like I said, it's almost like it's winter mode. Black sea bass, uh, 
minimum size is 13 inches. Most of the keepers I seem to get around here tend to be like 14. I think my biggest is like 16. Yeah, we don't see the, like those 22 to 24 inches I used to jig uh, up north. You know, that doesn't really happen here. But, you know, we got a lot more diversity of fish to catch too on doing this stuff. So we had a bunch of black drum, one tog, nice weak fit. It, it feels like it's, um, this feels like a winter bite already though, which is kind of odd, but we'll see. Put a small swimming mullet on, especially since there's some Kiever sea bass. Pretty good choice for them. Sea bass. It could be a weak fish though. It's pretty surprising. So you know there's a lot of them out here. You start catching them on gulps. That's a big shark. What kind of shark is that? Black tip? Spinner? You see him guys? It's pretty big. He wants some uh, bluefish, I know that. Like a king mackerel bait, but uh, I don't know. Got that thing swimming right around me right now. Okay. Well, I just put a bluefish out there on a balloon. So we're gonna jig while we got our balloon out there with the bluefish. So hopefully he can't, he should entangle us like that. Unfortunately, I don't think there's any max around. It just does not feel like it's it's happening out here. I'm, I'm just going through my, my, my flounder leftover shrimp container. Gulps of all flavors and varieties, sacrificing them. No, it's a big toad, isn't it? Uh, or a flounder? That's no toad. Yeah, season's closed on you. You're a pretty nice one too, huh? Oh. Oh. Very diverse, diverse stuff today, huh? Diverse fishing activity out here. It's a pretty nice flounder, southern flounder. 19, 20 incher. Go. Peace. Well, I just trolled back to the beach and uh, nothing. Nothing on that live bluefish, man. Bluefish joined me the whole way home. 73 degree water. As prime as it gets. Just minus no bait. Saw a couple of sharks. Did not see a Spanish mackerel or a sign of any mackerel family, but at least we caught some fish. Um, I don't know, let's take it back to. Uh, we'll do a little cooking. Tog and sea bass. Those are some good ones. I'm gonna show you a recipe a friend of mine showed me for black sea bass. ourselves a little ocean slam there. Some real tasty stuff. There's a lot of different fish I really like to eat. Um, black sea bass, it'd be somewhere in that top 10 along with stuff like pompano, uh, wahoo, cobia, the tunas. I mean, these, these guys are really good. Uh, I'm gonna do something that a friend of mine showed me years back. Um, what to do with some of the smaller size sea bass. The larger ones I do prefer to fillet, but uh, since we're talking about a 15 incher, uh, we're gonna prep it whole. All I'm gonna do, I'm gonna scale it uh, with a spoon or something and gut it. 
and uh, we're actually going to steam it. The idea here is small fish, we're going to maximize the yield. All right, we scaled them up with our very advanced scaling tool. Next thing to do, we got to take off fins and spines. So I don't know how big my steaming tray is. I've got a steaming pot. I usually steam up crabs and um, if it's too big, I'm going to take this, if this sea bass rather is too big, we're going to take his head off. Otherwise we will uh, keep the head on. Come on. All right, so he took his gills out, scale, gutted him. See, a lot of these bottom fish, I, I call they have like a hot gut. Um, I guess that's the term I've heard before. Especially stuff like cod, um, but they, their, their intestines and organs kind of uh, unpleasant. Now I'm gonna do this to the best of my ability with this pair of scissors. Um, I wanna get the liver and all that other stuff. So for this recipe, here's what we're gonna use. Um, these are kind of the ingredients uh, that you'll need and uh, our sea bass. So we've got some, some diced up green onions and ginger. Got a couple a clove of garlic, a couple of other pieces of ginger. We're gonna stuff this cavity and then we're gonna uh, make our own little sauce here. So, uh, you can stuff this with whatever you'd like. Um, you can go with herbs. I'm just gonna go with garlic, green onion, and um, a couple of slivers of ginger. Just salt your fish generously. Try this right here. Should, just in case. Uh, um, help keep the flavor inside this little pouch. Okay, so we had her on there for about 10 minutes. Might have been a heat, I don't know. No longer my place to gen judge a fish's gender, or she. Sea bass are actually hermaphrodites. They change sex. I think they start off as females and become males. By the way, we're ready here. Just a little bit. I just want to, yeah, I think something like that is going to be right amount. Don't want to over. And then we're just going to layer that up like that. All right. Okay. And th this, what I'm going to do now, is optional. I feel like it. You know, just adds a little more density to the dish. Super hot olive oil. Um, it's going to kind of caramelize. Get it to, to sizzle a little bit. There you go. All right, and there it is. You can serve this as is. I'm gonna eat it as is. Um, basically just grab a fork and pick it up off the bone. Um, you can serve this with a side of rice uh, up to you. And yeah, you can add your own ingredients, take your own pick on it. I feel like this is a good way to eat a whole black sea bass. Um, but yeah, let's give it a try and I'll tell you what I think. If I remember correctly, yeah, there you go. Just sink your fork in there. It'll come right off the bone. I cooked it for about 10 minutes. You could probably do it 15 if you want it to be a little more well done. Um, the, eating the green onions and the ginger is optional. I like it, um, but it's kind of like a garnish. This is a great way for a white flesh fish to really bring out a lot of extra character. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed. Um, it's a pretty awesome way to have sea bass. Um, I mean, you could just steam it up as it is and add a little bit of lemon and salt. It's fine like that too, but you add all those, you know, a couple of those sauces, it gives it kind of a unique bite. The fish sauce and the oyster sauce, um, that's something pretty unique with this fish in my opinion. But uh, that being said, if you do like these videos, you should make the message loud and clear because, um, you know, views are, are important. Uh, along with other things, but views are, you know, one of the important things. So I need to see the metrics there that, you know, catch and cook videos should be made from me. Listen, if you want to know the fishing gear I was fishing with, it's in the video's description. You can go ahead and check that out. Um, otherwise, that was a good, good day. I mean, a pretty decent day of fishing. Great dish. Enjoy it. I'm going through it. Um, check it out for Black Sea. 
black sea bass is pretty much available from North Carolina all the way through Massachusetts. Um, pretty regularly available, somewhat abundant fish. Uh, one, it's a good one. So, all right, guys, I'll talk to you guys. I will talk to you later. Hope you enjoyed. It.